Thursday, Thunder. I'm doing a 28 day meditation challenge, month of December, day four. Day two, something <laughs> hit me pretty hard. Got a big old download, one of those like, oh, I know what to do <laughs> moments. It's Thursday, Thunder. It's cold. I got the official winter coat out. And we're looking forward to 2021 because 2020, as most people are saying, cannot be gone soon enough. The download I got was book number 14 in the Repossible series. And probably the final, notice I say probably, probably the final book in the series. But also what's nice is because I've been working on tr uh, these box sets of three. So one is the introduction, two is every single day. And then it's three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yay! Four box sets of three. Now that might seem like who cares, Bradley? Make a box set of whatever you want. But the three really works as far as chunks of elements of organization and structure. So, and I also wasn't really happy with number number thirteen. I am a little superstitious. I wasn't really loving that whole ending on book thirteen. So book 14, it came to me. After this meditation through this challenge I'm in, I then did another five minutes and boom, it just came to me. Just, and this is, people often ask me, Bradley, how in the world have you written 27 books? Where do you get all these ideas, these content, this content, this, this flow, this organization of these 14 books? Uh -huh. And I mean, there's one secret. It's, it's meditate, it's meditation. So I especially like challenges. <laughs> Thank you, John Muldoon. This is how I started back November 1st, 2012, writing every single day for 30 days, turned into 2,808 days in a row. And now here I am doing a weekly video, right? So the consistency, that's when the big ideas are going to come at you and it could be unexpected. I mean, day two of some 28 challenge, 28 day meditation challenge and boom, it hits me. So what hit me? The word that came to me was share. This is now the title of book 14, Share. The idea is share your story, share your message, tell your story, voice your concern, voice your story. And it, it works two ways here because I see it then as a collection of repossible stories. I'm sharing the successes of the repossible students, the, re, the, the students of Repossible, of which I am one, and sharing our stories. But what's also important is you as an individual to share your story, to share your success, to voice what you have on your mind, what you have on your mind, to tell that story to inspire others. This is what every single day for me, every single day was really a sharing of my very personal you know, doldrums up to the dolomites of my journey starting in 2012. So sharing what I really enjoy about it as well, especially from like the repossible perspective, from the repossible like headquarters, whatever, is that it is a whole lot more fun to share someone else's story. Hey, listen to this. Here's the story of Liz. She went from A to B to C. Hey, here's Rich. This is what happened to him. Oh, you got to hear this. Right? I mean, that is fun stuff. That is That probably gives me more joy than pretty much anything I could get myself. I'm giving their story. I'm sharing their story. It's fun. It brings us purpose and joy. And did, did you get that? It does bring it to us through sharing other stories it shares our own as well but it shares the sort of pool of meaning and purpose and happiness frankly and pride and joy and all that all those positive emotions it's just like this giant pool of it and when we share our story we are sharing that pool and what we're really trying to do the goal of the story in my opinion is to spark that initiation spark that inspiration and that get that motivation going in someone who has yet to hear that story. And before you say, yeah, but my story is boring, all right? My story, I don't know. It's, it's just, I don't know. It's not any different. I don't care how different it is. I don't care how not different it is. I don't care if you think it's the most boring, 
story that everyone has told a million times. What you need is the girl outside the cafe. I either talked about this last week or I wrote about it in an updated chapter of Repossible. There's a girl outside the cafe who needs your help and she needs it immediately. And you say, oh, but she can probably find some better help. Oh, there's probably a guru who can help her in more specific and better way than I can. Yeah, but she's sitting right outside and you're sitting right inside. You could go help her right now. She needs your help. That's what I see with sharing. I see it as your message transferred, which is going to resonate with someone somewhere. You don't know who it is, but if you don't share your message, it's definitely not gonna resonate. Just like the radio tower, if nobody has a radio on, it doesn't matter if that tower is generating the, the message, the, the vibration, the uh, sound waves. Because if, if nothing's out there to hear it, well, it's not gonna connect with that particular radio, although it's still going. Although think about it, if it's still going, still going, still going, bing, and that radio turns on, you just connected with that particular radio on that particular station. That's all I'm asking for of you is to share your message, to send out that sound wave for that one person who's got the radio on that is gonna connect with you and your message coming only from you. Your station right there, you connect with them. That's share. This is what came to me on Tuesday morning. <laughs> this is what happens when I do 28 day challenges. The clarity comes in like a bombshell. This is very clear to me. I even wrote the introduction to the book. I updated the Repossible book. I even read, I narrated the, Repo the Repossible audio book and the share section of that book. And that's available right now as well. Boom, it just happens like that. 28 day challenges. <laughs> Who'd have thunk? <laughs> share. That's it. Book number 14, Repossible series. That's what I'm doing this week. Thanks to this 28 day meditation. I'll put a link to it down below if you want to uh, join in. And uh, that's it from a cold December morning. <laughs> Winter jacket and all. It's Thursday Thunder. I'm Bradley Shravino. I'll be here next week. Yeah, on, on the Thursday. Yeah. Will you?